Well, the trouble is we've got the lifts are all stuffed as well. We've literally thrown everything we can at it to make it happen as quick as possible. Cheeky little Golf GTI oh, DSG oh, toes. We need to do a scrap run, Toby. Oh well, it's better than just leaving it off. What a miserable day. Gearbox died. Gearbox very unwell. Let's say the best one is... Oops. You get back here because you can't really drive it. Oh, is it that bad? It doesn't rev or anything. It... Oh. <laughs> okay. I'll have a little look. I'll see what I can do. So you'll probably want to reverse the truck up to the wash bay. But you could mark it up the road, yeah. figure out what's going on, and then when you're ready. And then come down. Right. I'll do that then. See you in a bit. It just pushes it back up. Even um, the lad at uh, Causeway. He said that we had problems because I said I had to vacuum, because I couldn't get any fluid, so I had to vacuum, leave it easier. Yeah. Then, <coughs> it's fine, the nitrogen bit and everything. It, it's not doing what it does before, where it was just staying. As you take your foot off, not all the time, you just get a little kick back. We've got the lifts are all stuffed as well. Well <laughs> It's one of those, isn't it? Um, yeah, and it needs to go up on the air to be able to even to bleed it, to be able to take it apart. To get okay, all right, well, I guess we'll have to Why don't you way. take it out for a spin yourself? Because mm. it's not, you know, like before it was actually sticking and then you've had to lift it up. Yeah. It's not doing that, mate. Okay, all right, I'll take it out for a drive. Take it out for a drive, see what you think. Um, the Fair enough. The thing is, that, that she's just going to bring it straight back, isn't she? I know, but she's only had the four. She said, uh, from what I understand, Jason said that um, her previous one had the same issues. She had a Q3 yeah. or something yeah. that did something similar, mm. or something. I know some vehicles do do it. And well, it depends how bad it is. If it is just like you're saying, like you've still got the clutch pedal, but it just moves it just a little gives, bit in the end. It might sort itself out Try, anyway, yeah, but, Take it for a spin yeah. and see, see what you think. About everything. <laughs> it's a whip that's hard to make close. Probably could get it to move. Same time. 
Cool. Oh, it's missing a bit of trim. Yeah, it's in the car. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's where the battery goes. It kind of stinks. Mm. Oh, well, I don't think, yeah, I've got to get rid of that clear. Yeah. It's like a trim. Got it in? Yeah, it's in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some place like So we've managed to get someone who can code it in and make it work, but the earliest they could do is come and see us tomorrow. Which I know. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, if I could make it any quicker, I, we, and if Jason could have made it any quicker, we would have done, but there's just nothing we could do, unfortunately. I'm sorry, it's, it's been a nuisance. It's a, it's a, you know, it's a, one of those things that just develops, and we've, we've literally thrown everything we can at it to make it happen as quick as possible, including people coming in on weekends when they don't normally work. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things, unfortunately. Something we completely unexpected, but do speak to the wife, let us know what you want to do. Whatever you want to do is not a problem with us, so do let us know. Apparently the chap who can do it should be with us around 10 o'clock tomorrow. I don't think it would take too long at all really, you know, if it's a half an hour probably. It's just a case of plugging in and programming it and telling the car that it's, it's had a new one basically. Yeah, I know. I'm so sorry. We, we were really hoping we could get someone today. Obviously we were hoping we would have put the part in on Saturday and that would have solved it. But, you know, it's just one thing develops after the other. There's no pressure on your part if, if you know if, if tomorrow comes and it's too late and you, you're under too much pressure and you want to you know back out then by all means let us know um, i understand it's, it's frustrating we've we've done everything we can but i understand it's still taken you know a while so okay all right no problem at all all right thanks a lot bye bye sorry i haven't got around to calling them yet that's right i was planning on to call them anyway just had the passat lady ring up as well and when's my car getting delivered the gold passat all right it's not in the diary for any deliveries, but it looks like it was supposed to be delivered last week. Um, yeah, to out the bumper oh, it was, uh, well, I don't know. It's not, it's not even in the sale agreement, the bumper. So yeah, I don't know no, what we're doing, because he spent a fortune on that thing, that whole car. Um, yeah, I don't know. Remove the, remove the, remove rubber from rear bumper. Well, yeah, so that's the bumper thing that we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, but that's, they've, they've done that. Yeah. Um, Try and remove the smell from it and whatever is another thing. Um, yeah, I don't know other than that, unfortunately. Mm. Right, it smells really good now. Excellent. Um, I'm going to borrow this. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Have you really? Yeah, yeah the, these things are, are orange now. The indicators. No, they're white, but made them orange just because. No, they're all orange now, the whole thing. Yeah. Gonna whip off the wheels this week, underseal the archers, and then underseal the rest of it. Then I'm going to use a colour match the little door handle. 520. What have you got with you? Trailer or just truck? Truck, truck and trailer. Truck and trailer. Couldn't, couldn't just have the trailer on its own. Be impressive. Pull the air over yourself. <laughs> Right, we can get you there for one o'clock. Yeah. Easy. Bristol BCA. That's the one. Am I going into the compound? Cheeky little Golf GTI oh DSG tokes. Oh Am I going into the compound or is it? I've put you down as a single transformer, so. No, I don't think I understand. Yeah. No, it's fine. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, because yeah. I did last and single last time, then they put me in the compound. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, it'll tell you <laughs> by the book on the Sweet. Yeah. Little top tip for the viewers if you are collecting cars from a. Yeah. Well, actually, I, I didn't even say that because it's, it's, it's different from branch to branch. Some of them need a freaking QR code, yeah. don't you? Oh, yeah, literally, yeah. you don't talk to anyone, it's just a code you scan. It's a BK number. Which I reckon means, because you go in, you're like, oh yeah, I got this. Like, what's your number? Oh, well, yours is a BK. That means you go through there. It's like, well, where's the sign that says that? Yeah. I'll go. To, I'll I would drive, drive up to that first, and if yeah. they're like, nah, mate, not here. You got to go and just reverse back. Yes, yeah, fine. You can do it. Yeah. Right. So that's not for a minute yet. Right. Yep. Yeah. So, tell you what you could do, my friend. In the meantime, we got a Skoda Roamster. That needs like a, it basically just needs like an acid wheel clean, a yeah. little citrus and snow foam or whatever. Yeah, and give it a jet off and give it some tango. Yeah, where, where is it? It's parked right by the wash bay, so just leave it out the front oh, there and sorry. do that. Then yep. that could potentially go on the truck and you could put the dispatch on the trailer and get yeah. them both down the farm. Oh, that's a little one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll send it right away. Is the key out there or is it in the box? No, it's there. Sweet. Just Skoda. checking you're paying attention. Skoda. The flying penis. You ever notice that? The logo for Skoda. It's a dick with wings. Is it? This doesn't look like a dick. What was? I don't know your dick. Oh. Kind of. Oh no, Dan's just always said it, and I'm just <laughs> just copying maybe. Mm. It shouldn't be that pointy, but... I mean, well, what is it? An arrow with wings? I think it's supposed to be a bird. It's a peacock, isn't it? A peacock? What it's peacock? a cock. We need to do a scrap run, Toby. We're overrun with it. Mark keeps smashing him up, doesn't he? Oh, but you, you, you Mark's face yesterday, Jason. Did you hear what happened with the mug? Oh, did it break, did it? You know, you, yeah, you know, you see Blue Stairs mug, did you? Yeah. Yeah, Mark hit down, it obliterated itself. His face. 
He felt so bad. Steph was proper, proper digging into him as well. I've had that mod for years and all this, that and the other. <laughs> I need my, I need a vape in this yes. car and a, and, a, and a hat. I thought it was a GTD, but it was actually a GTI. It's really nice. It sounds good as well. I'm not gonna like. That's a shame. Schmegums. Where's this then? Oh yeah. We'll get Mikey Mike on that. The only one I touched that bit is bird poo. I can't tell if it's <laughs> bird poo making it like a dent or the, the bird poo has dented the car. <laughs> <laughs> Skin in it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> on the old Schmeggy wheel. Oh, what the hell is in there? <laughs> Looks like he was rolling up his joints on the GTI badge. Or emptying his bogeys into it. <laughs> you you always know who it is when you turn it on, I'll tell you. <laughs> Will you dirty bugger? What are you putting your burgers in the fucking GTI badge for? Has it got standard exhaust? Yeah, that's good. You know, I tend, I tend to buy stuff like this and it comes with something from Rochester North. Sound. Do you prefer these to a uh, R? Yeah. It comes with mats as well. Bonus. Not mats. Oh yeah, he was rolling up his weed, look. He's rolling up his weed in a GTI badge and he's dropping his blim burns on the car. I bet he baked as well. Probably find knives and guns and stuff stashed in here. <laughs> if, if he was in there injecting marijuanas. Is that trim stand on the side as well? Yeah, I mean, apart from the scuff in it, it's standard. Yeah. Why didn't you spot that bit? Oh, I don't know. Who bought this? You for it. Oh, what's hung on the back of the seat? He was a travelling salesman slash... Well, yeah, he could have been a travelling salesman carrying his suits. Maybe that's the type of weed dealer he was. Driving around with his suits hung up on the back of the seat, peddling his devil's lettuce. I've seen that. Look at this. Improvisation. Oh. Oh, well, it's better than just leaving it off. Maybe oh, that was a stash hole. Pop off and just full of weed. <sighs> How much of an asshole position could you possibly choose to have your oil cap? Where is it? Oh, exactly. Oh, <laughs> right, let me just put it in here so I can definitely shred my hand to fucking pulp when I'm just trying to check my oil. That's what you want to set of them headlights. Look at them. Honeycomb effect. Oh, that like follows the. Yeah, way. my continuity. Have you got a spare thing we could have? What's your car? <laughs> you have, can have a you can have, have a bag and a hairband. Let's get some gel salt. What? Yeah, there's other there's other gel salt. Though. Uh, That's what that sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen you get fucking Uh, well, hopefully this weekend, but 
Well, so the weather I should be right. Well, it's just in case it didn't need like an injector or oh that yeah whatever or. Morning. It's mucky, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit. Uh, Lawrence came in, uh, Dan, just so you know. Uh, is, is air con? Yeah, it's supposed to be dropping it off. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, I d didn't want it to leave it. Do about it today. Um, oh. But it's definitely not cold. Um, oh. I said, come back next week when we get it. I'll get your message to uh, Yes, is that Macaulay? Okay, one second. Yes, Macaulay. Did you Jason? Oh. Well, that's a good question, mate. I don't know. Hopefully this afternoon, but at the moment, obviously it's doing the workshop. Oh, yeah, I can't give you any different answer, I'm afraid, mate. I, I would say probably not. What I'm going to do, actually, um, tell you what, give me... Okay? Yeah, give me 10 minutes. I'll speak to the customer now. And I will... I'll call you back in a minute. Oh, nice one. All right, yeah. All right, cheers, mate. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the rest of it. Oh, okay. I just, I couldn't, I was trying, I was trying to figure out whether it was part of the extendable one or oh, the, uh... Get... So you have to go around there. Yeah. Then you can release the beat. It's been hissing for ages, hasn't it? So. Yeah. yeah. Mike's still here. Yeah, yeah, he's on his mic. Nice. Look at the paperwork on her. You know, likey. You know what? <laughs> well, if it was in the hundreds, I'd consider it. Yeah, he's done three coats and it looks good. Just need to get a little touch right there and make sure it's not mucky, mucky, mucky. I kept forgetting the registration number. Oh, for the new. For the white one. Ah, okay. It should. There should be on the truck now. The car itself. On the front, not on the back. There's a square plate, so we have to get a square one. Uh, but... Five hundred pound a month. I like the um, scanning up note of the documents. That's really good. Very good. I like that. Yeah, when I put them on, I've been putting everything on there now. Yeah, so it's, it's, yeah, might as well. And also, there's some like say when someone comes in, you can just scroll down through it. It's there in front of you. Yeah. Especially if you, you take, you, like you're saying, you take pictures of two keys, so you can look at it and say, well, there's two keys left. Yeah. Or if you only yeah. got one at the end, you're like, well, one of them's missing. Where is it? It's very good. Oh, there's a moment. Can get even a port to a landscape. I've already done that, mate. Oh, you've done that? Yeah, I'm with For some reason, my email don't update. It's been the same for ages. So I struggle with sometimes being able to reply or answer stuff. So at my end, it still shows that as a brand new email and not being looked at. Well, yeah, it'll be refreshed. Yeah, even if I refresh. Oh, we did win the uh, other one, man. Yeah. Oh, it's a bit Westbury. I bought uh, another Range Rover Sport. White one. Mileage? Like that 48 out. Ooh. On a 15, 16 plate, yeah. white, with black wheels, service history, all that good stuff. Should be good news, hopefully. Nice. Grade 2. Or 15.8 plus fees, and it's 24 out. That's all right, yeah. Barrow Motors, Jason speaking. Our driver is no longer with us. I'm not sure we're doing any retail um, driver jobs. Bear with me a second. Let me just shout a joke. not really miles away, that's right. No, not that. BCA Bridgewater to Leamington Spa. Can't do it. Yeah, it's about that. Mm -hmm. Straight swap with my nice Thursday too. I like that Joe really likes because it's a coloured pink one. Mm -hmm. You ever seen one of those? An A class coupe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's quite smart though. Oh, not very cold, not cold. It's fucking wank. It looks like it's been shunted up the arse. I prefer that. I prefer that to the patch oh, really? Well, maybe it's just not that angle. It's just it's yeah, so like it fucking bit stumpy. Like, it looks a bit like a one series uh, coupe. You look at I the like angle. Ones. The one series oh, two yeah, series. Oh yeah, no, looks like it's been it's nipped off at the back. It's like looks like it's been squidged up, isn't it? Right. Yeah, I see what you mean. Though. Hasn't got any boot. No.
What a miserable day. Uh, you got me today because Toby's off because it's his birthday. Everyone get in the comments and wish Toby a happy birthday. 19 years old, can you believe it? What a man. And only 19 years old. I don't even remember what I was doing at 19 years old. Nothing like producing an award winning, groundbreaking, life changing YouTube channel like Shifting Metal. I was opening boxes for an electrical company, I think. Anyway, the heavens have opened, the thunder claps have sounded, so I'm just going to pull this lovely little Jag XK8 inside. We've got Leo with us this week. We haven't filmed because he's a young lad doing his work experience. We'll get him on Hoover in it because Mark, who he's been shadowing, and the workshop guys, to be fair. Workshop guys are busy. Can't see a bloody thing. Yeah, Mark's gone off on an MIT run to. Oh, listen to that. Peace and quiet. A gentleman's V8. Haha. <laughs> What a beauty. Got an absolute stack of paperwork to look through here, so I'm going to try and have a little look at that and see uh, if any of it's any good. It's locked to keep the riffraff out. It's lovely. Yeah? Yep. That's what we like. All those of as well. Do you want the key? Um, nah, I still got the desk in there. Thank you, though. Oh, you curbed the wheels. The old finger with the wet the finger. Yeah, it's coming out. The airflow sensor is. Well, it's gonna suck it. Yeah. Did the old stick the finger in the wind. Fucking out. Are you looking there? Yeah, it's black. But yeah, it's blowing out. It sounds like a sort of turbo thing, doesn't it? To me. Right. Yeah, because that that match up then with all the EGR parts because it's going the wrong fucking way, isn't it? Is any wider than the normal ones, are not, are they? What's that? Extra is any wider than the normal Shouldn't be, no. Yeah. What's that, the, the estate? Uh, yeah, picking up today. It oh, says, the 5 Series mm, one. It says it's only 1868 wide, that's about right. The trailer is 1940, so. It's like an old trailer, huh? I'll pay it off. And it'd be one of those things where I want to religiously like reduce it by 100, 200 quid every two days. Yeah, okay, don't. Well, if I drop it a couple of hundred quid now, just to. Actually, I could. I'll tell you what I will do. Wipe it down, get some more photos on it, because they're a bit crap. I'll get some photos in here. I'll do that first, reduce it by 100 quid, and then have another look next week. Hey, Bob. Sounds good. Um, are you done with this, are you? 
Or are you just waiting on the bit from McCoy? That's the, that the disco there? sport, yeah. Yeah, if I could have that back just to put it all together properly, if you're okay. Because uh, I haven't got the bits of paper I need from McCoy yet. That's fine. It's a double thumbs up kind of day. How's that? It's not. It never is. <laughs> Right, so Friday, what's going on? We've got a new part exchange. Jason wants to sell it from here. I might, mm, don't know, because it's 2007. It's got an annoying Irish number plate on it. Ons 1, you know. I just don't like, don't like the look of that. It's got very rusty screws in it as well. I mean, that's not the end of the world. We'll change those. It is 82,000 miles, 2007. He said it's got a bit of a rusty arch somewhere, which, I haven't seen. It's definitely been reversed a little bit into something there. Probably wants a tyre. Probably wants another tyre. Probably probably wants four tyres. Um, oh, this thing's a bit... manky. But it is pretty straight, to be fair. Other than that, a little bit on the front. Looks quite good inside. Yeah. We gave about two and a half grand for it, and we can probably double our money on that. Not necessarily double our money, but ask for five grand, and then we've obviously got to probably spend quite a lot, thousand pounds on prep probably, with tyres and MOT and whatever else. Or we could have just sent it down the farm and sold it for three and a half and just wash our hands of it. But Jason wants to sell it. Jason has to deal with the warranty calls should they arise. But fingers crossed they won't. This one is going down the farm though. This one's probably even better condition. Hopefully by now, you might have seen a video on this. If not, um, I won't give you any spoilers, but quite a cool little thing. This unfortunately has come back because um, customer lost all their coolant. I think just a hose is broken or a, something plastic housing. You know, it's nothing drastic. It just needs some work. So that's back here, getting that sorted out. What else have we got? We might have a chat coming from Scotland, Bonnie Scotland for this one. Um, but we're still waiting to hear on that. This is now sold. Got something coming in part exchange for this as well. I can't remember what it was. I thought it was quite cool. Can you remember? You didn't see it, I don't expect. Um, I'll tell you the most interesting thing that's happened today. Should we go around the other side and see uh, what's around here? I need to get the weed killer. That's one thing I need to sort out. Now the sun's come out. Yeah, Steph's got an engine out of a Mini. Um, needs a turbo and timing chain and a load of other stuff, so that's fun. Our TT that you might have seen in two weeks ago, maybe, in the weekly, and I said, I'm taking it down the farm to sell it off cheaply because I don't think anyone's going to buy it. And we sold it, like a day after that. So it's just having its final bits of prep done. It's had its wheels refurbished by Western Wheels. Okay. Broken light rubbish off the road. Um, this is our beautiful little courtesy car, little 208. She's a diamond. Oh, someone's phone's in there. I bet you that's the guy that's just brought it back. He came and picked up a CLA again. He's left his phone in there. Should we call him and let him know? It's gonna be tricky, isn't it? Uh, We'll tell Jason that in a minute. Don't let me forget, Toby, about the phone, because I will. The minute I start talking about something else, boo, it's like a void in here, nothing else happened. But anyway, the most interesting thing that's happened today, Toby's car's here. It's had a little whoopsie, hasn't it, Toby? Um, talk us through, talk us through what happened. Gearbox died. Gearbox died. Gearbox, very unwell. Uh, yeah, it made some horrible noises, didn't it? And stuff um, and then got it home and it had done a little whittle on the driveway a lot of whittle on the driveway the gear stick was in neutral and I started it up and took my foot off the clutch and it stalled because it was still in gear oh that is that does sound that sounds worse than just having lost a bit of gearbox oil or something hmm mm. well it's yet to have its turn on the ramps because they've got loads of work going on so yeah, it's also, um, it was Toby's birthday yesterday as well, so that was his little birthday treat to himself. Got to figure out what you're going to drive. Um, but we'll find something. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting distracted. Potentially got to get that fixed. If not, we're up at 
G3 auctions next week, early week, so maybe we'll have to buy Toby something to drive back. Um, right, we need to go and tell Jason about this phone so he can phone him on the phone that's in the car. Yeah, that's, that's about it. What else has happened? We've, a Jag XF's gone out, that's what was in part exchange for the Mercedes ML. We've sold Citroen Dispatch Fan today and Golf GTI, which only arrived what, earlier this week. That's already sold. Two deals where it's come from like third party finance companies, so I look forward to all the headaches that comes with that. But, you know, they're easy at this stage. They just say, hello, we've got a customer who wants your car. Is it still available? And yes, it is. And they, will you do an MOT and put three months warranty on it? Of course we will. We always do. And then they give us money. Just couldn't get any easier, really. Um, oh, and the other thing as well is, I oh, know I can't tell you about the other thing because it would just ruin another video. So, yeah, um, let's go and tell Jason. Did you get a text from Corey? Uh, no. <laughs> well, you obviously paid for it now. Yeah. After the, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a nothing, to be fair. I only issued a couple of church pounds soft punch to cover that. There's a scratch on the dashboard. It's a bit fucking late telling us. Yeah, after, after I just, just, after just paid, paid 13 money, grand. Yeah. You um you don't happen to have a landline number for mate boy with a CLA, do you? Ross. Yeah. Do you know where he lives? Is he not lo is he local or not? Yeah. Oh, that's right then. Because his mobile phone's on the passenger seat ah. of the Peugeot two hundred eight. He'll be back, I'm sure. Um, yeah. I'll email him. I'm not sure that'll do much good, but that's the best I can. Yeah. Text him. Yeah. Sorted. That's what I said. Uh, Very pleased with the service. He's going to send us a review. Oh, Mr. Tuland. Yeah. So at least we get something out of it. I'll make sure I send that. Auto trainer request for the fuel to send that. Knowing him, it'll be like this went wrong, that went wrong. I have to wait three weeks for my car. You know. They didn't give me the money back that I wanted, but when I did have a problem with an inevitable problem with the car, they did pay the fix. At least so, they saw it out. Yeah, yeah, three stars. That'd be his idea of a good review. Yeah. All right, the end of another glorious week. We need to do best car bought, best car sold, biggest headache and biggest win or whatever. So let's start with best car bought. What have I bought this week? I don't know. I'm gonna have a wander around and see if anything strikes me. Can you think of anything we've bought? Have I bought a lot? Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, where is it? This bad boy Range Rover. You might have seen a video on this by now, or you might not, but I know a lot of you hate Range Rovers and a lot of you are going to be in there like, what a low scrap, Mike, take it straight down the scrapyard. It's wanking it. Well, no, it's a lovely £24,000 car. It's absolutely lovely. I think it's very nice anyway. So that's probably best car bought, best car sold. We've sold a few. We've sold a couple today even. Um, so, just trying to think. Let's say the best one is the Mini Cooper S that we bought from our very nice subscriber. Um, really nice low mileage, nice condition. We've had someone phone up and they're just like, is it still available? Yes. And they've paid up their deposit and they're coming in tomorrow. They're going to see Jason on a Sunday to come pay, collect and take it away. So that's a nice, easy deal. We love those sorts of deals. So that's probably best car sold. Then, biggest headache and biggest win this week. I don't know what I can tell you, that's the problem, because there's other cars involved in separate videos that will come up in the future. I don't know whether they've been wins or losses, really, at this stage, but I don't want to ruin anything. Biggest sort of pain in the bum. Um, right, well, I can't readily think of what's been a big headache this week, so that's good news, really. Can't have been that bad, would it? We've had... Uh, Leo in, our work experience lad, who is our landlady's grandson. He was a good uh, good asset to us while he was here. Uh, other than that, I can't really think of anything. As you're watching this now, I should have just revealed who's won our course of VXR, who's won the two watches, who's won a thousand pounds cash. And there's also something on Instagram that I would have just 
revealed who's won a dash camera as well. So if you haven't already, head over to the Feel Good Competitions Facebook and Instagram pages. You'll find all the stuff there. And I will try and get ahead of the game and get a new competition car lined up ready for the Saturday as well. So you can head over there to feelgoodcompetitions.com and find out what car that is. Other than that, I think that's a wrap for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you are one of our subscribers and we hit 75,000, then you could be in a chance of winning a £2,000 tag for your watch. Well worth doing. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.